What's up guys? Welcome to episode 3 of my series How to Be a YouTuber. The first episode spoke about what kind of questions you should ask yourself if you're considering becoming a YouTuber. The second was about the technology and the pre-production stuff. And today we're going to be talking more about the software kind of stuff, the post-production. And I got a special feature guest over here, Matt. Yeah. He is he's really he's really a dope editor. You should go and check out his channel. I'll leave a link in the description below. Um, yeah, I just thought he, he would definitely have some, some good advice on, on the topic. So Bru, what uh, do you use to edit your your videos? I use Adobe Premiere Pro After Effects, Premiere Pro Yeah, that's cool. I mean I started off with uh, Windows Movie Maker and I think anyone who's starting a YouTube channel should. Uh, just because when you open Premiere Pro, you're just like, whoa, tabs, so much stuff going on. But uh, yeah, um, I want to ask you a little bit about, about what kind of advice you'd give to someone starting out. And then, and then after that, I'll just tell you a little bit about the audio. So people watching this video might want to know how to color grade and how to you know, color correct. How, how do you do that in Premiere Pro? So in Premiere Pro, they have a whole lot of tabs. If you've opened up, you'll see it very intimidating. But one of those tabs is the color correction tab. And on it, you have all your saturations, your exposure, everything like that. And you can import LUTs. You know, you know what in LUT is? Okay. Um, it's basically a filter, like you have on Instagram, all those different filters. Okay. So you can download LUTs, buy them, and import those. So it gives your video a style. And then you tweak your exposures, your whites, your contrast saturation, all those sort of things to change it up a bit more to get how you want it. Yeah, sure. Well, thank you for that. I did not know that and I've been using Premiere Pro for like a few months already. Depends on your channel, of course, but the biggest thing is you need to make your visuals look the same in terms of color. You can't go from having a dark image to a light image. It needs to balance itself out. So, like if you said, if you have a beauty channel, I think the best things would be bright colors, bring this saturation out yeah. that way. And if the benches, it depends where you are. So if there's color in the landscape, you want to bring that out. And in terms of music videos, you may want to, depending on the style of it, bring down the saturation. Yeah. Change the color cool. that way. So definitely the tones and, and the kinds of colors that, you, that you're using needs to convey a mood, a mood that, that matches your channel. Yo, thanks so much for that advice, Bru. I mean, I'll talk a little bit about the post-production with audio. Okay, so there's something simple that you can do. I mean, you can get Premiere Pro and you can get the Adobe Suite, and there's something called uh, Audition. Audition. Yeah, Audition. Um, but if you're, if you're starting out and you, and you just want something really simple, I would recommend Audacity. Literally, type it into the internet, Audacity. It's free, download, download a version of that. And I'm just going to tell you three things, three simple things that you can do to your audio to really, to really uh, you know, get, get better quality out of it. Number one, noise cancellation. You'll realize that wherever you are, sometimes there's just this background buzz or something like that. You want to get rid of that noise. So all you need to do once, once you uh, split your, your video into MP3, which you can do with VLC, just Google it, how to split your video into MP3 and whatever. Drag your audio into Audacity and then highlight that part where, where, where you're not speaking or anything and say effects, get noise profile, and then you select everything and then reduce noise by whichever level you want to. Experimenting is important. That's like anyone will tell you, experimenting is important. The next thing you want to do, especially if you're recording with something like a cell phone or, or a, a mediocre microphone, you want to edit those bass and treble levels. It's also under effects. You can just Google it, look for um, cell phone, bass and treble levels, edit, and then you can just match those levels up the same. And the last thing you want to do is le level it, because you'll notice sometimes you talk further away from your mic or closer to your microphone. Leveling it, you normally want to say a heavy level, and that just equalizes all the tones and it actually normally brings the volume up. Yeah, that's uh, all I have to say about that. We are currently in Monte Casino. We're busy, yeah, we're busy uh, making a video about, about how awesome it is over here. So stay tuned for that video. And yeah, that's all from me. Check out his channel.